Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne with Back to Earth Creations and welcome to this week's shop update giveaway and what's new. We're going to start with the giveaway as we usually do and we are giving away one of our very earliest spider pendants. We've kind of come a long way um, in a very short time <laughs> in how we've been making these but I'm still having a ton of fun with them. Um, in spite of almost all of my friends being like major arachnophobes, so I'm so sorry y'all, but thank you for your patience as I go through this phase that I think might last forever. But anyways, um, we're giving away that spider. We announced the giver giveaway winners in the videos. We never do it in the comments, so if it's somebody with like a telegram or a WhatsApp number or something trying to get you to pay for shipping or like give you their social security number or something. Nope, that's a scammer. Um, don't give them your info. We'll announce it here. And the way that you'll have participated will have been to have left a comment on last week's shop update giveaway and what's new video. And then we just put you into random comment picker slash YouTube and then we let a computer do it. Um, if you are outside of the United States, you can still participate. We just won't ship you your winnings. We'll give you digital winnings instead. So like all of our digital coloring pages and like um, jewelry just tutorials that are written and like we'll just our whole digital download folder is what we will email to you. So if you're the winner, send us an email to backtoeartcreations at yahoo.com. Let's go ahead and get the camera flipped around and see who this week's winner is. Okay. So we were at commentpicker.com slash YouTube and I'm going to click the button. Good luck to everyone. I think it looked like we had, how many did we have this week? We had, uh, it usually says there's the, we had 84 commenters this week. So good luck you guys, those are pretty good odds. And Congratulations to Georgia lady. She's a candy corn spider butt made me spew hot tea everywhere. That is awesome. I anticipate that will be a new catchphrase for me. I'm not a fan of, I think, I think you were going to go on to say you're not a fan of spiders. Um, but that it kind of cut it off right there, but congratulations, Georgia lady. Congratulations, Georgia lady. I'm sorry if you're not a fan of spiders because you just won one. Maybe you can use it as like a talisman to ward them off or something or as a prank on a friend. Who knows? But uh, this week's giveaway, we will be giving away another one of our dragon eye necklaces um, that I painted the eye and my beautiful husband wove all of the chain mail and scale mail on it. So if you would like a chance to win this necklace, then um, leave a comment on this video down below. Uh, it doesn't have to be of anything. Let me know how you're doing. <gasps> Tell me what you're doing for Halloween. Like I hope everybody has a safe and joyful Halloween full of mischief um, and fun. So that being said, let's go ahead and flip around and see what is new in the shop this week. So one of the things that is new on our shop are our sticker and print page, which you can find under jewelry and more in the drop down menu. And all of these are artwork by my niece, Maddie. Uh, this one, I drew that one, um, but she does all of the beautiful artwork. And you can see that we have, uh, these are the stickers that we sent, have sent out in previous months, craft along kits. So if you wanted some more stickers or, um, you know, anything like that like this one hasn't been in a craft along kit she just did that one which I thought was really cool um like absolutely love that whole vibe so that is something that's new in the shop this week so these are the cabochons that are new to the website this week we have a lot of beautiful labradorites y'all which are just the juiciest and if you head over to backtoearthcreations.com, you can see for each of these, we'll have a picture where it's on a one inch grid board that's like marked into like quarter inch segments. And then we'll also have a picture where it's like in my hand. And then we'll have like a 10 second video that shows the front, the back, and then the from the side so that you can really get to see the flashes and how all of these beautiful tabs We'll be looking that way you know a little bit better what to expect because some of them whenever they're just laying flat they don't look like much but sometimes when you turn them it turns out they don't have any flash but that way you'll know um <laughs> but then other ones like this bad boy here yeah are just nothing but flash so we want you guys to know that before you know you pick out your caps some beautiful tiger's eye moons we have lepidolite moons tiger's eye amazonite and opalite moons this week and then we have another tray 
of some more labradorites. Now these are in the marquee style, which I am hoping to have a video of this ring tutorial uh, coming out soon. The puffy heart one will be coming out and then the uh, marquee wrap ring. So we do have some beautiful marquee cut labradorites. And then we have some of our, if y'all keep up with our YouTube shorts or any of our social media, you'll have seen these. These are the ones with the peacock green, uh, which is like, it cooked down to a real turquoisey color, but that's what the manufacturer calls it. So that's what I'm calling it just for future Vaughn when she wants to recreate this. But I absolutely love how these came out. And then we have, these are some that we made with some homemade frit from our own sheet melts. And I'm really, really digging all of the depth and detail in there. And then we have a couple of cabs that are a little glitchy. This one's got a little bit of, uh, you know, matte spots on the surface. But other than that, it's just gorgeous. We have another one of these, which I think is beautiful. We have some, gosh, can't get over I'm still not like I mean don't get me wrong I'm totally here for the autumn vibes but I always have a spot in my heart for this like mapley spring green like not maple like the syrup but maple like the tree but yeah so those are our new cabochons we also have a whole bunch up on the website from previous shop updates that um you can take a look at and see if you find anything you like but yeah, just in case I forgot, um, Georgia Lady, if you could go ahead and send me an email of where you would like your little spitter shipped to, uh, to backtearthcreations at yahoo.com, then we'll go ahead and get that sent out. So, as of lately, like, I think we're coming to the close of our first month of streaming over on Kick, and every Saturday, except for that one time when it was a Sunday, but that's okay, um, I do Lampwork Glass, uh, just there in the live stream, um, and hang out for about six hours uh, while doing some torch work and I had so much fun making these beads with y'all this past uh, Saturday. Now this one unfortunately broke as I was pulling him off of the mandrel. I'm pretty sure what happened is I just didn't keep my bead hot enough um, while I was working on them. Now I haven't cleaned out the bead release yet. That's something that I would do in a little dish of water with a bead reamer and I'll get in there and I would just clear it out and that way you wouldn't see any of that bead release um, kind of stuck in the middle there. <sighs> totally devastating. Like, that bums me out so bad. I really, really liked this one. But I will certainly be able to use this in with, like, a polymer clay creation and I will, like, a little fairy house or something. I can just smush that end together. I may glue it and figure something out. So, I mean, it's part of the learning curve. But I also made two of my very first eye beads. As you can see, these two here, which I really dig. Like, oh my gosh, this one is so cool. Like, ah! <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. And my, my first attempt at a signature on the back of a bead, but we'll figure that out later. Now, check out this one. It has this, like, silvery finish. I thought I had ruined it because it was supposed to be this color of blue. But it silvered up whenever, um, I think, I put it in an oxidation flame. That could be what it is, but that one was really fun. Sorry, they're blurry. Uh, to make, we have, this is one of those gravity beads that looks cracked as well. I think I've been, this one's the one that dro got dropped on the porch. Oops. So we'll set that one over there. It's part of the learning curve. But then we've got this one here. Oh, that's so pretty with those little blue dots on a clear bead base. I've never done that before. And then this is one of the gravity beads that I was like, ooh, so pleased with. Um, I don't know if we'll be putting these ones up on the shop. Oh my gosh, with the with the little air bubbles are probably my favorites. Like I absolutely love like how the end of that one came out. And so we're learning. We're getting there. We're figuring it out. And then this one was a lot of fun, especially how it pulled that core color, this like kind of seafoam green up through and like all the swirls like I had pulled my own um stringer like just I, I'm just having a really good time with this stuff y'all and then like this one this is that same light blue um that I don't know I don't know how I got these colors it's wild though this one's really pretty 
and no cracks. That bums me out that that one has a crack in it. Maybe I'll clean out the center really well and see if I can't like do something with it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think though down in the comments and um, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me during this video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or ideas, leave them down below. If you have any requests for future tutorials or uh, any tutorials that you would like for us to revisit and possibly recreate, that would be really cool. So yeah, you could let us know down in the comments if, the, if there are any tutorials that you would like for us to recreate. Because um, unfortunately, I am not able to go back and move the cameras to make it to where I am not out of frame. Um, and I cannot go back and replace any poor choices in background music. And unfortunately, I hear almost every day uh, from folks about that. So... <laughs> But it's like, I'm sorry, you guys. Can you please stop rubbing my nose in it? Um, but yeah, but it is time, I think, for us to recreate or at least revisit and see maybe how we've grown as artists since then and try to give it another look. But um, so yeah, let me know your requests down in the comments. And I want to thank you guys so much for making everything that we do possible and making all of our dreams come true just by being a part of what we're doing here. Y'all have helped us to build such a beautiful community. And I'm really excited that so many of y'all have followed us over to kick and that we get to hang out during the week. And it's just, it's a good time. So thank you guys. And uh, do we do new shop updates. Let me try that again. We do new shop updates every Monday, uh, typically at noon. Um, is when I try to publish them and the email usually comes about five minutes after that uh, just to so that I can make sure that the, li the links work and everything. We have new tutorials every Thursday here on YouTube as well uh, typically at noon and again the email will be about five minutes on the heels of that video publishing here on YouTube. We do our Friday live streams from 2 to 7 every Friday and over on Kick, we stream every Tuesday and Wednesday from noon until 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And then we stream on Saturdays from noon to 6 as well. So let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments. And I will see y'all next time. So until then, happy crafting. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>